know? They are. Let me start by telling you the events that had occurred on October 2nd, 2015. On that fateful day in the college in Oregon, a lone gunman stormed the room very much like this one. He then proceeded to shoot the professor in the head, killing him instantly. Then he turned around to the student and said, Those who are Christian, please stand up. Once everyone stood up, he then proceeded to say, Those who are, those who are Christian will see God in a few seconds. This was told to CNN by the father of one of the victims. Now that you guys mostly are all of age, in which you guys could legally buy weapons in California, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to. It's a right. The buying of weapons is is mainly a privilege for those of for those few who uh, have the capability of to uh, acquire a weapon. I speak to you. I speak to you all about this as someone who has both shot weapons and have seen the tremendous power that they have. But also as someone who has witnessed the discharge of a weapon unlawfully at today I will talk to you guys about first about the gun problem in at Los in LA, mainly California. Second, about how it has became became become a major problem. And third about how we could prevent or solve this problem. In Los Angeles, it is uncommon to not hear gunshots in at the dead of night. The FBI crime clock says that burglary and assault happen almost every 10 seconds, and a murder happens almost 30 sec every 30 minutes. So, in more than half of these cases, a gun is like most likely involved. It. It is hard to see someone that we love die, especially some knowing that we could have done something to prevent it. As Hillary said on August 27, 2015, I don't know how we keep seeing shooting after shooting, reading about the people murdered because they went to Bible study or they went to the movies or they, or they were just doing their job and finally saying, we, we've got to do something about this. In California, the requirements to buy a, a gun are fairly simple. Mainly, the only requirements you would need to buy a gun is to pay a few free fees and also take a, um, a test that consists of 25 questions in total and a background check. Honestly, I think for many of us who got their licenses at the age of 16 or or were under the age of 18, it was harder to get our driver's license than to possibly get a gun now. <clears throat> uh, moving on, the second, the second Amendment, as said, as, as a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed on. For those of you who understand this quote from the, from our second amendment, from our Bill of Rights mainly, how many of you guys believe that this is still relevant into in our in our world today? What I what I mean what I might trying to say is that compared compared to the seventeenth century, today is not the same thing and we should not use the second amendment to be the basis for our laws in each state, especially in the country. And not just that, it's also that many of people who buy guns are not especially trained in the gun they're just trying to buy. Maybe they just want for own protection, but even with that, because there comes a risk of accidentally discharging the weapon and shooting someone on accident or inappropriately handling of the weapon, which would cause, might most likely cause the death of someone. Just like today, there's a lot of criticism on police officers that are consistent of police brutality and in most cases, in few cases, the death of someone, of some, of some individual. But 
unlike police officers, our, today's citizens are which buy guns and try to have them for hunting or home defense. They are not trained like police officers. They're, they don't go undergo um, rigorous training. Uh, thousand hour, uh, a hundred, hundreds of thousands of hours in the shooting range, and also they don't undergo psychological evaluations that would most likely disqualify those who are not um, right in the head to be able to carry a firearm. Well, me, what I'm trying to say is that it's not just because it's a right to have a gun doesn't mean we should in the way that we don't go under the team training as police officers and we never should really um, compare ourselves to them. <sighs> um, to Lastly, I would, I would like to say the only way we could try and prevent um, the shootings and misappropriation of firearms is trying to better regulate who buys guns, how they are bought, and the give them training on to on what they're doing and to try and prevent more that de more deaths. To conclude, I would like to say, um, the Second Amendment is very is very vague in its way that it is that it presents um, gun gun laws in California. Me would um. Many with 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 guns, it's hard to regulate it just because of that reason. But it's also hard because of people who don't really understand the risk that it ta that it takes that a gun could potentially have. I mean, <clears throat> firearms are just because they're a right doesn't mean um you should honestly use it as um as doesn't mean you should probably you should use it to um you should take advantage of it our gun laws are here just for uh, our gun laws are here for to protect our freedom but also they also come with the, with the hammer risk thank you